Good evening everyone, Tina Spalding Trance Channel here for day 15 of our 40 days and 40 nights. Um, I'm not naked, although it looks like I am. I've got a top on, so <laughs> it was hot in here, so <laughs> I just realized when I was, yeah, enough of that. <laughs> um, let's see what Jesus has to say to us this evening. <clears throat> You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know is Jesus and we love to see joy. We love to see this being laugh and we love to see you laugh too. We want this evening to be one of a feeling of joy. We want to remind you tonight that you have created your life. And even though you may not think it is perfect, even though there are some adjustments that you'd like to make, tonight is a night for gratitude. Tonight is a night as you sit in your bed listening to this with your journal. We want you to write down 20 things that you are grateful for. You are grateful that you have a bed. You are grateful that you can hold a pen and that you can write and that you can see what you're writing. You are grateful that you are warm. You are grateful that you have a computer or a phone and on and on and you can keep going. You can, you can go past 20. But what we want you to understand is that you can focus on all of these things all of the time and feel fabulous. Most of you do not value your health, for example, until you get the flu or a cold and then you're laying in bed thinking, oh my God, all those days that I was healthy and I didn't pay attention to it. Pay attention to it tonight. Pay attention to those friends that you have, that you love. Pay attention to the family members that are um, working for you. Don't look at the ones that aren't. Look at the ones that are. This is about saying, ah, my sister is such a doll. I love talking to her on the phone, even though it's only once a month. I enjoy it so much. Think about your the things you've learnt and the things that you are doing with your life right now. Perhaps you have a garden that you love, a pet that you love. Um, so many things. Perhaps you're reading a good book right now and you can't put it down. It doesn't have to be a big thing, but we want tonight to be about gratitude. Gratitude is love. Gratitude is appreciation. Gratitude is a very, very high frequency that it is very easy for you to get to. So we would like you to begin to make this a nightly practice, not necessarily writing down 20 things, but before you go to sleep every night in your journal, write down without your phone in the room. We're going to remind you of that because some of you are not going to listen. You say that is too much to ask, that we can't have our phones in the bedroom. There might be an emergency. Someone might need me. Well, they will get hold of you. Don't worry. Put that phone out of the room. Um, because some of you are thinking that as we are saying this, there is no phone in the room. You are now contemplative as you go to sleep at night. You are quiet. You are calm. You are not flicking through Facebook or YouTube or the news. You are not getting sudden messages from someone who isn't your favorite person. The phone goes an hour before you go to sleep so that you have some time to be with yourself to be with the day that you have had, to do your gratitude journal, to write some things down, some feelings perhaps. Perhaps you've had some challenges today. Perhaps you felt fear. Perhaps you felt lonely. Perhaps you've been so happy today and you were surprised. It doesn't matter. Write it down and then read it back to yourself and ask yourself, is this a pattern of sadness? Is this a pattern of upset? Is this an increasing pattern of happiness. I seem to be happier as I'm doing these lessons. This is very interesting. And we want to remind those of you that have not yet done A Course in Miracles that this is designed as a healing modality, the reintegration of the Western mind. It is designed for these times. It is designed to help you find peace and alignment when you need it most, which is now. You need it now because peace and alignment 
are the qualities that are going to create the new world that you all want. It is not going to come from fear. It is not going to come from disillusionment. It is not going to come from anger. It is going to come from peace and joy and happiness and relaxation. So if you haven't done A Course in Miracles yet, we would suggest that you begin to think about it. And if you have resistance, begin to ask for that resistance to be removed. I am that one that you know as Jesus, and I will speak to you again tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining me this evening. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.